Hey guys, Chuck here. I'm doing some more experiment, and today I want to talk about this experiment here. It's quite interesting <laughs> to see. Uh, I have my old clock here, one of the very first one, Galileo clock. Ever running clock also. It's going on since end of August. Still working good. Let's have a closer look at this one. That's my experiment. This one actually uses a synchronous motor to power it. This motor spins at 3 RPM per minute. So I have a 1, eight, one to 180 reduction to the main wheel. And then the main wheel is a 1 to 60 to the escapement with a recoil escapement that I used on this clock here and this was the very very first one I did the purpose of this is to try different gears and then I can see by moving the weight here how efficient it is basically the way it works the motor, rewind the clock, and then this weight pulls it down. Now we can go at the end here. Look closely. Notice it drops every tick and then comes up slowly. The synchronous motor has a fixed speed depends on the frequency of the of the power so I have to have a system to tune the clock so it's the clock goes exactly the same speed as the motor I have this string here that goes down goes down all the way then it attached to the weight if the clock is goes too fast the weight will drop and it will pull on the weight at the end of the pendulum, shorten up the pendulum so this, the clock can speed up. The same if the opposite, if the clock goes too fast, this will go up and then it will drop the weight so the clock speeds down. So it's the clock, the mechanical part of the clock is self adjusting to the speed of the motor that powers it. It did run overnight and was still running the next morning, so it seems to be working. Only thing that baffled me is how much weight I had to put to keep it going. I don't know how much. This is going to be a long term experiment, but it, it's a try. I believe it was going to work, but one never knows. <laughs> but it did work. It seems to be working. There's a couple of things I need to... I need to change the angle here. So, ideally I would like to have this almost vertical. But I cannot yet because otherwise this would come and touch this wheel. Right now it touches the 2x4 first. So here I am with my clock experiment. And like I said, the purpose of this is to try different gears and that I will be making. And I just started something. Uh, FreeCAD gear tutorial that I'm going to use and design new gears for this clock. So that's coming up in the next video. <laughs> Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video with a FreeCAD gear tutorial. Please like, subscribe, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.